exceptions article 24. In some cases geographical indications do not have to be protected or the protection can be limited. Among the exceptions that the agreement allows are when a name has become the common or generic term for example shredder now refers to a particular type of cheese not necessarily made in shredder in the UK and when a term has already been registered as a trademark. Countries employ a wide variety of legal means to protect geographical indications ranging from specific geographical indications laws to trademark law, consumer protection law and common law. The TRIPS agreement and current TRIPS work in the WTO keeps track of that diversity. The Doha mandate, two issues are debated under the Doha mandate, both related in different ways to the higher article 23 level of protection, creating a multilateral register for wines and spirits and extending the higher article 23 level of protection beyond wines and spirits. The multilateral register for wines and spirits. This negotiation which takes place in dedicated special sessions of the TRIPS Council is about creating a multilateral system for notifying and registering geographical indications for wines and spirits. These are given a level of protection that is higher than for other geographical indications as explained above. Latest development in this arena is to be found in the report of the Trade Negotiations Committee by current chairperson Darlington Mwape of Zambia. Three sets of proposals have been submitted over the years representing the two main lines of argument in the negotiations and some proposed compromises. The EU's detailed proposal calls for the TRIPS agreement to be amended by adding an annexure to Article 23.4. The paper proposes that when a geographical indication is registered, this would establish a rebuttable presumption that the term is to be protected in other WTO members except in a country that has lodged a reservation within a specified period, for example 18 months. A reservation would have to be on permitted grounds. These include when a term has become generic or when it does not fit the definition of a geographical indication. If it does not make a reservation, a country would not be able to refuse protection on these grounds after the term has been registered. A joint proposal document was first submitted in 2005 and revised in 2008. Its, spo its sponsors are Argentina, Australia, Canada, Chile, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala and so on, including the United States. This group does not want to amend the TRIPS agreement. Instead, it proposes a decision by the TRIPS Council to set up a voluntary system where notified geographical indications would be registered in a database. Those governments choosing to participate in the system would have to consult the database when taking decisions on protection in their own countries. Non-participating members would be encouraged but not obliged to consult the database. Hong Kong, China has proposed a compromise. Here a registered term would enjoy a more limited presumption than under the EU proposal and only in those countries choosing to participate in the system. At the heart of the debate are a number of key questions. When a geographical indication is registered in the system, what legal effect, if any, would that need to have within member countries if the register is to serve the purpose of facilitating protection, the phrase used in Article 23.4, and to what extent, if at all, should the effect apply to countries choosing not to participate in the system? There is also the question of the administrative and financial costs for individual governments and whether they would outweigh the possible benefits. 
extending the higher level of protection beyond vines and spirits. Geographical indications for all products are currently covered by Article 22 of the TRIPS agreement. The issue here is whether to expand the higher level of protection currently given to wines and spirits to other products. A number of countries want to negotiate extending this higher level of protection to other products. Some others oppose the move and the debate has included the question of whether the Doha declaration provides a mandate for negotiations. Some countries have said that progress in this aspect of geographical indications would make it easier for them to agree to a significant deal in agriculture. Others reject the view that the Doha declaration makes this part of the balance of the negotiations. This difference of opinion over the mandates means that the discussions have had to be organized carefully. At first they continued in the TRIPS Council. More recently they have been the subject of informal consultations chaired by the WTO Director General or by one of his deputies. Members remain deeply divided with no agreement in sight, although they are ready to continue discussing the issue. Requirement of registration. Under the Indian Act, no protection is conferred on an unregistered GI. Consequently, the proprietor of an unregistered GI has no remedy against an infringement of his mark. So we can conclude registration of a GI is mandatory under the Indian Act. But passing off action by an original proprietor of a mark has not been barred under the Act. The relevant provision reads, Nothing in this act shall be deemed to affect rights of action against any person for passing of goods as the goods of another person or the remedies in respect thereof. Some case studies, Tirupati Laddu controversies. A PIL was filed before the Madras High Court against the GI tag for the Tirupati Laddu. The, that petition was dismissed on the grounds that an alternative and efficacious forum was available for adjudication of such a dispute and hence the PIL was dismissed with directions to the petitioner to approach the appropriate forum. Under the GI Act, such a petition could have been filed either before the GI Registry or the IPAB. R.S. Praveen Raj, a resident of Tiruvananthapuram and a scientist at NIIST, National Institute for Interdisciplinary Science and Technology made a plea against GI tag of Tirupati Laddu. The petition, raised, the petition raised certain issues fundamental to the nature of GI protection as violation of section 11.1 read with rules 32.5 and 32.6 A and F as GIs are supposed to be collective community rights of protecting a group of producers. In the present case, TTD is the sole producer and, be and beneficiary of the laddu. Violation of sections 9A and D as the registration is likely to deceive consumers. Section 9A and is likely to hurt religious susceptibilities of communities in India. Section 9D. Tirupati, Tirupati laddu does not fit the description of goods defined under section 2F for it being a sacred offering not akin to industrial goods. An executive officer of TTD argued that rectification application had no locus standi. The officer also made it clear that the rectification application applicant was not offended in any way by the registration and he had never objected when the matter was published in the Geographical Indications Journal. He further said that all procedural formalities contemplated under the prescribed act and rules was strictly adhered to and genuineness of the product was verified by the experts. The Geographical Indications Registry, Chennai, rejected the plea by the applicant for removal of GI tag against Tirupati Laddu. Rectification application applicant R.S. Praveen Raj failed to prove locus standi and interest 
with the registered goods. The court stated that because the rectification application was not contested by the applicant, the tribunal is empowered with the authority to impose costs. 